What would you do if we wasn't together or had a divorce? I don't know. I think I would, I would probably move far though. Now this is with kids. With kids. Hi you guys. Hey. Oh, nice to see you guys again. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Colors and this is David. And we are back with another video. We decided that we wanted to do a video surrounding our marriage and questions and that type of thing. Six. For one, y'all really like the questions video, and two, we are finally hitting 11 years of relationship. So I thought that why not do a video talking about some questions surrounding marriage, relationship, and see kind of what comes out of it. If we have time, depending, I don't know, maybe we could do a part two of us reacting to our wedding video. If you wanna see something like that, please let us know, comment down below. Yeah, we're just gonna kind of jump into it. We are sipping on margaritas that I have made. She makes the best margaritas. Mm, I just feel like, you know, I don't be trying to toot my own horn, but me and margaritas, when I make them, I never be upset. Yeah, we don't have to go to a restaurant to get them. We just yeah. bake them, make a margarita. Cool. <laughs> yeah, you see the glass? It's like a little cactus. And where, where, where can you get those glasses from? The Dollar Tree. <laughs> Period. Mm -hmm. This video kind of came out of nowhere, so bear with us. <laughs> Should I start off light or strong? Strong. Okay. What is something that annoys you about your partner? <laughs> already tried to start an argument. Dang. First question. Mm -hmm. Um, No, my partner already knows this. It's just... Um, Let's go. Uh... Spit it out. <laughs> Hurry up and say it. We got minutes. Um, like messiness and more more particularly like with clothes just being all over the place. So. Yeah, yeah. I have an issue. And you know what's the crazy thing about this? I actually learned this from him. I just did it and Reed took over it. Yeah. I remember when I first met you and all the way even to this point, you would take off your clothes and leave it where you take them off. Initially, that wasn't something I do, but I was like, huh. It's a terrible habit to pick up on. But I started doing it, and now it's just like a bad habit. I don't even remember that for doing that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I definitely remember, because I thought that was an odd thing. Why would I think it's an odd thing and pick it up? Who does that? Mm, but I did. For me, I feel like maybe, that I don't feel like he listens. It just like, it goes in one ear out the other, like he pretends like he listens. And then when I question him about it, he'd be like, oh, you didn't tell me that. He'll like multitask while I'm talking to him about something. And then say he listening. It's like, what? I had a whole conversation with you about it and don't remember it because he's doing something else. Yeah, it's hard for me to put down what I'm doing and sit and listen. Sometimes I don't think you can tell me, but sometimes you may be right. <laughs> Let's not sign that. <laughs> what would you do, knock on wood, if we wasn't together or had a divorce? What do you mean, what would I do? Like, what would be the first thing that you do? Like, some people might be like, oh, I'll move back home. What would life look like for you if you if we went to, together? I don't know. My life would probably still be not too much different. I, I don't think I'd move back home or anything like that. i work, find a hobby or something to do, and then, you know, just go from there day to day. So would you hang out with your friends more? Like, I, that would be my initial answer, but at our age, all our <laughs> friends got stuff to do or they in their own relationships and married, I'd have to find new friends, really. For me, I think I'll definitely go out more. I think I probably would travel. That sounds so cliche. <laughs> I think I'll, I would probably move far though. I wouldn't move. I probably would, at least a couple of hours away. I think I would just want a complete change. Now this is with kids. With kids. Yeah, I don't think I'd move. All right, next question. What do you think that people most go wrong when their relationship don't work? Not having hard conversations and walking or running away, not staying to have the conversation. So like going in the other room or leaving for the night uh letting it fester nobody talks about it and 
we just mad. I can agree. I think it's very important to speak your truth within your relationship. They don't like being vulnerable because they really don't want to hurt other people. Kind of piggybacking that pride, stubbornness, and selfishness. But I, I think you just end up respecting each other more when you do have those hard conversations and you don't let it fester and you it seems like you're fighting for your relationship. I think you end up having more respect for each other. What is examples of tough conversations? Tough conversations are basically like, good example is what you're doing that annoys me, mm -hmm. right? Cause you think there's nothing wrong with what you're doing, but to me, it annoys me and it's a problem. No, I, I, I definitely know what could be annoying. Mm -hmm. Now, can I help it? It's the hard question. Like, I know it's a problem. I'm not pretending like it's not a problem. I know it is a problem. Yeah, I don't want to kind of go back to that topic, but, or even like. She about to say something about me. <laughs> no, not about <laughs> you, but I remember we were having a conversation the other day. I had made a TikTok about the bath thing. Mm -hmm. And being like, no, I don't want to do this unless you take a bath first. Mm -hmm. Some people won't tell a person, like, nah, like, that's nasty or. I don't want to do that or can you take it back or you don't smell the best or like you got something in your teeth like some people not comfortable with that yeah you gotta get past that just be honest <laughs> especially in a marriage you gotta be honest you can't have your feelings hurt what i think i strive on mostly in my marriage is not wanting a lot of limitations like i don't think there should be much off limits within your relationship now your space, I get that. You have your space, you have your space. But as far as saying, I don't, I won't do this, those types of attitudes, I don't really agree with in a relationship. I feel like you should always give something at least a second thought before you say no. And it may be hard at first. Even if something is small, people might not agree. He might not even agree. But it's something small like, using the bathroom and me trying to talk to you, you want to shut the door. Like, I don't see what the big deal is. If I got something to say, what I have to like, wait. That's me though. Like, why? Don't tell me no. <laughs> <laughs> now that you told me that, I wasn't gonna do it even more. Yeah, I remember you used to always just use the bathroom and have the door open. Yeah. And I'd be like, all right. <laughs> it's the same person who want to pee between my legs while I'm using the bathroom. That's later on in the relationship. Really yeah. I'm talking about it to get it. Mm. I feel like if you do some of these things sexually and it be the most disgusting stuff, I don't want to hear nothing about seeing me using no bathroom. There's people out here eating booty. Talk about later <laughs> in the beginning. You, I wasn't even talking about us. I know I ain't talking about us. But I'm just saying like you you did that open door bathroom thing from the start. And I just thought mm -hmm. it was different. <laughs> no, I did not because I actually had it in my journal because mm -hmm. I wasn't even comfortable being naked with the lights on in front of you. That took a long time. You still don't like the lights on. I think it's a distraction. <laughs> just I'm okay as, with the lights just on. Just as long as they're not bright. No, every time I, you turn the lights on, you Because it'd be bright. That's why I use the closet light. I'm fine with that. I just be feeling like you be ruined in the moment. You be like, wait, hold on. I'm like, I'm in a good spot right now. Yeah, but I'm yeah. not in a good spot if I can't see nothing. You ain't gotta see. You, you gotta, gotta feel. Know. I gotta see and feel. I'm visual. This gonna take a minute anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just the one thing. Because you turn on that light, you don't even be focused no more. I do be focused. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. You be all like, oh, let me look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you just having fun. That's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to No, do no, we got to eject this. No, you think I'm in that way, it's a job. This ain't no job, yeah, I'm trying to have fun. I know, but after 40 minutes, we, we have an objective. Now, now, last time was you. No. Yeah, last time was you. No. Yes, that second round, that third round, you be hours. Yeah, but then I get myself there. Yeah, but it takes hours. Yeah, but you don't have to help. When you, I gotta help. I was helping with you. After a while, you didn't have to help long. I and now with that new thing, you ain't gotta do nothing. You got a lot of new things. <laughs> I'm jealous. Y'all got all the stuff. We get you a new thing. <laughs> I tried the old thing the other day and I was like, it's so weird. Did you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, I don't know how I used this before. It, it don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
should be another topic. Spice. Ooh, spice up your life. Ain't that a song? I don't think spice it's a Spice Girls. No, they say spice up your life in the song. They do say that. Mm -hmm. Nice. I feel like deeper in your relationship, you should be more open and optimistic. Because I feel like intimacy would be born. Yeah, you gotta have an open mind. You mm -hmm. wanna be your partner's fantasy. Right. You know, whatever it is at the time, you just roll with the punches. Or, not, that's a kind of negative way to say roll with the punches. But, you know, there's the, a way that you both can enjoy. There are illusions, people. Find out what your partner likes and figure out a way to make it seem like you're doing it. Yeah, a lot of it's like acting. Right. But you know, that's good enough when you're in the right. moment. Right. <laughs> I can't get too much pointers on here, people, but just understand, maybe on TikTok I can. On YouTube, they ain't about that life. Yeah, follow me on TikTok, child. But what is the kinkiest thing you ever watched? Watched? I don't know. I mean, it don't you know, even have to be crazy. It's just I don't know if it's kinky, but uh, sometimes I have an interest in watching. It's like vintage type of stuff. Vintage. Yeah. Like like corsets type. No, like like this from back in the day, like the eighties or seventies or something like, like that. Like with black men with afros and stuff. Um, you know, yeah. The, I mean, the hairstyles were different back then and stuff like that. I need to figure out what's on your porn history because I don't know what you're talking about. Check it out. That don't seem like something I want for my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny. It sounds funny. It's not something I'm into, but I recently watched. I'm going to just say what I have watched. So I am learning about more people who are into like kinks and stuff like that. But this one guy said that he would like hit himself while he's like getting himself off. Like he would take like a, I don't know what they're called. It's like basically like a whip. And they say that it makes like it better or something like that. I don't know about that. <laughs> I ain't saying I'm into it, but that's yeah. what I literally just seen it yesterday. I never even heard of that. Anywho, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I can do to make our marriage more interesting? More interesting? Yeah, better or add to it. The sleep schedule. <laughs> Be better for our marriage mm -hmm. because like, you know, I'm up in the mornings or whatever and like to do a lot of stuff in a day. I agree. Like for me, if y'all don't know, I work overnight. It is difficult. I can see because mostly, most of the time I don't get my day started until like two. And by that time, it's close to the time that the kids are getting out of daycares and or I'm doing whatever I need to do and it doesn't leave a lot of room for him. So I, I can see how definitely me having a better sleep schedule would make things a little bit better. What do you think? is the reasons that we made it this far. I think number one, we have a lot of those tough conversations. Work through them to get an understanding from each other. Now we may have to have the same conversation over and over again, which means we're both putting in the effort. I definitely agree because I think even there are times, and open honesty, there's times that, that we have debated, like, I don't know if this is gonna work. Saying that literally, being like, I just don't know if I see things going the way that it needs to be for us to stay together. This is where I am. This is what I feel like. I don't want it to get there. So what do you think that we can do to make it better? Because this is how I believe that I made it here. And I think that's very important. Even when you're explaining something, just don't give the in conclusion. Give what do you think that brought you to that point. I don't feel like you're helping, but I don't feel supported, I don't feel loved. And give examples. I think us doing that and just being brutally honest sometimes. And I think that does save our relationships in a good way. Do you think I'm a good kisser? Wow, that's a <laughs> really off guard. Mm -hmm. Off the mm -hmm. This is a side note before you answer this. I realized the other day I don't give good hugs. You don't put effort into your hugs. It's like I was never that person. And it took a random person the other day to make me think about it. I'm like that with other people. Like I give church hugs or right. a lot of times it's just the... <laughs> I think that's better than what I do. When people are like, come here. And, and in my head, I feel like a good hug coming on. And then as soon as they do this, I be like, oh, come here. And I do like the one R under, one R over. I do it and I do and then I let go. Example, hook. And I'll go. 
Like I don't fully chest to chest it. Yeah, she was like, <laughs> something along the lines. If you didn't really want to hug me, you didn't have to. She gets <laughs> like, like that. Why? Because some people they're really weird about hugs in general. Mm -hmm. So I stopped giving like stronger hugs because I feel like a lot of people don't even like hugs like that. Oh, well, it's tough nowadays with COVID. Right. But I was, you know, that was a side note for you to get more comfortable to say what you had to say. You good kisser? I don't think you put a lot of effort into your kissing. Got bit lips for nothing else. It's just like packs. I don't like tongue kissing. Most of the time I feel like I'm kissing you, you're not kissing me. You be smothering me. <sighs> <laughs> That's mostly what it is. If he's not putting all his weight on me. You can weigh a lot. You was a whole man. You strong. If I'm on the couch and he can't try to lay on me to give me kisses and stuff. He'll be dead weight on my chest. Like, how? You're supposed to focus on the kiss. I can't breathe. And let your man lay on you. You're supposed to hover. Mm -mm, I ain't got enough uh, strength to hover. You, well, you don't need to be over there then. Mm -mm. But then, even if you're not laying on top of me, when we do a good kiss, right, you don't give me this much space. And then you be breathing. You don't hold your breath like most people do. You be breathing. So all the people you kiss will hold their breath. Yeah, you don't blow your oxygen breath up the person's nose. All right, I ain't gonna kiss you no more. I'm gonna wait for you to kiss me. Well, you don't have a choice. You gotta kiss me. So you gotta teach me then. So that means I you, can teach you. You don't be listening when I give you pointers. That means you gotta so. start kissing me. That's fine, but you don't be listening to me when I gave you pointers about this before. This ain't news. What do you think? That's something that we do that others may find a little weird. I don't know if this is like weird or awkward. We like to watch the same shows. And they may not be the most, you know, traditional shows that a male will watch, but we like to watch a lot of reality love type of shows. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think we do a lot of weird stuff, honestly. Like, there's been times that I bathed him. People find that weird when I tell people that from the Rudy to the Tootie. Um, that ain't weird. That's normal. <laughs> no, I feel like all guys be like, that's weird. Or me holding it while you pee. Yeah. I feel like other people have done that. He's put in tampons for me. I did? Mm -hmm. I remember the first time I had to go buy tampons for you at the store. He did not want to. It was awkward. I don't know how a man could be uncomfortable with buying tampons. Like, oh my God, you're buying tampons. You're a guy. You're not the one that is bleeding. It's not identifying the person who is actually bleeding. It's more awkward for a girl to go buy tampons because it's like, oh, you on your period. Have you ever faked or oh a big O? I don't fake it. <laughs> I think it's very hard for a man to fake it. Mm -hmm. Very easy for a female to fake it because you a lot of times you don't see anything. Nine times out of ten a guy won't do that. Yeah. Pause. Have you faked it with other people? Mm -mm. So you just never faked it before? Mm -mm. Ever. Have you faked it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot. In general or with us? I don't know. Okay, with us and now not with us. Yeah, I, outside of us, I definitely faked it a lot. Yeah, I don't even think nobody made me. Prior to us even made me have an O. I heard that sometimes the O is elusive and it takes women a while before they get their first one. Yeah, I just, when I'm ready for it to stop, I just be like, I can't. I don't know if I necessarily faked it per se. I have, I definitely have, but it's usually just when I'm ready to stop. Mm -hmm. It's honestly with for a girl too because they can have multiple smalls and then have O's. There's not been times in my life where I had many O's, but very small ones, multiple. Sounds so complicated. Like, yeah. <laughs> with a male it's just, we have a man, that's it, you yeah. know? <laughs> Sound like a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. And sometimes the small ones is off me to where I don't feel like even having a big one. Cause I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's gonna be all for this video. This should be interesting. I don't know what to expect from it. Gotta look back on it. Yeah, I hope that it was good. I hope that it, it was entertaining. We finished our drink. I'm very depressed about that, but I'm hanging. Cause lately, since I've been drinking, I take a sip and I'll be <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I'm getting old, child. <laughs> I am getting old. 
But yeah, we really want to do a video together because we've made it far. And if you have things you want us to talk about in a part two or something like that, just write down in the comments below. Mm -hmm. Let us know. Yeah, like we said, that's going to be all for this video. We definitely love you guys and we'll see you guys in the next video. Time to go to bed. Bye. Peace out. <laughs> Time to eat. Bye.